Pow, pow, stop on that loud pedal. Come hang out with us at the U.S. Nationals. It's Indy Week. Me and Iggy are loaded up. And about one week from right now, we'll be in the stage of lanes for round one of the U.S. Nationals. Yes, Indy's a marathon, and we are headed up one week early. It's time to roll. So I'm hiding out today in a secret location, getting the car ready for Indy. You will see there's the top fuel car, and that is Chris's top dragster. Just getting things ready, getting adjusted, figure out uh, what all little adjustments we can make before the U.S. Nationals. So we're out here at the Eric Medlin Golf Tournament, and you will see right now we are at the SRI Indy. I am playing with the owner, Mr. Greg Finelli. It's our hole. This is it. And it's we, our hole. And Ashley and Rob and Chad is like he's. he's Chad is time. having a bad day because Rob just out drove him by like 30 yards. But I hit it. The How far was it? Foot and a half. Free birdie? <laughs> Monster hole. Eric Medlin Golf Tournament. Y'all are missing out today. Oh, he gets a hold of one, ladies and gentlemen. But it's just the wrong direction. <laughs> you guys are our sponsor. Okay. Gotcha. You gotta, you gotta go around the edge, dude. Put you your gotta, tongue around the edge. You gotta get nasty with it. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> do it, man. Oh, God. Oh, that just disturbed me. Eric Medlin Memorial Tournament. The amazing thing is the last 10 years, we all have raised $600,000. Yeah, amazing? All those kids can take me to choose. Team of Rob Wedlin, Ashley Wedlin, Clay Milliken, Chad. <laughs> yeah. So you know I'm, I'm on my new YouTube oh, video that's right. thing. Hey, that is fun to watch. Thank I love watching it. Movie. <laughs> Lawn more man, Nick Nate. Oh, root beer. I'm staying away from that one because it's feeling bad. And it's probably no telling we don't want to get in that conversation. <laughs> and there's probably some dirty things going on on Snapchat over don't here. Don't worry about it. It's YouTube. Who is it? It's, it's for my YouTube. Look at this, y'all. The Minipace has fixed us up tonight. Where's the cupcakes? Oh, yeah. Check out these cupcakes. They're awesome. And, of course, got a little drag racing on nhratv.com okay so there's a guy that gotta make sure he's not coming so i nicknamed him nicknake and he calls me clint clay and so he lives here close to chris and he rides his lawnmower in case he drinks too much which is smart but he may or may not have just got punked with uh, all the decals on there Y'all do have an AJPE on there. Yeah. And AJPE is who he works for on Salinas's car. I'm not sure he's gonna be real happy about this though because his little Husqvarna is nice. I like it though. Actually, mine it's says you're only worth a dollar, so that's all you got from me. It's only worth a buck. <laughs> <laughs> you you could have got some more sponsors, but you ran out of real estate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's on off. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so I've been horrible at getting caught up on what's going on. We're in the staging lanes for Q1 at the Big Go, the never-ending marathon that is the U.S. Nationals. We are second to last pair running alongside Doug Coletta. We are hoping to go out there and lay a pretty good number down. Here, funny cars going down. Friday night, funny cars go first. Saturday, the dragsters go first. I'm, I'm gonna say it is, what, at about 8.30? It is. Something like that, whatever. It's quarter till nine. Quarter to nine, obviously the later it gets, the cooler it gets, the faster we'll go. Right now we're set up, my guess is, 370 369 if the car goes nice and smooth right down through here but it's Indy baby Nationals, I'm hanging out with Ross, the number one qualifier and top dragster, man leading the points. We fix to go out here and stomp on that loud metal. You ready, brother? Hell yeah. <laughs> man says, hell yeah. Friday. Hanging out with my boy Ray. As per usual, when Ray shows up, cameras show up. I am uh, attempting to make the old YouTube channel grow, and I call him once a week, send it to him. Like, hey, how's this look? And he's like, you suck. You're moving the camera too fast. You're talking too fast. Slow down. That's what I hear. How's your TV? How's your TV? Which way is your TV? Absolutely. Your TV is this way, not right. this way. Oh, you guys are moving? Okay. I got right. the camera. I guess I got to get ready. So if we can get it in there nice and shallow, keep it in the groove, don't shake the tires, don't smoke the tires, don't run into any cones, don't hit the wall, stay on eight cylinders, and go like really, really quick, and everything of the millions of things that can go wrong goes right, we will qualify. It's simple. There was nobody happier than Iggy D when Eleanor showed up for the race. And there are people that kind of lit the fires. We all have to work together to try to keep those fires out of the hoops. Um, I think that today, I don't think, I believe, is our opportunity. I've watched this whole progression through these five or 50 runs that we did this weekend. And we have segmented, or segmented ourselves into getting to where we need to be to race. And that, I'm commending all of you for working. I know it's frustrating, I know it gets tense, but if we weren't here to win, it wouldn't be tense. Winning doesn't come with a mind of ease and a mind of relaxation. It comes with aggression, tension, and aggravation a lot of times. Remember that. You're here to win. We're here to perform at the top of the level that we're at, both in life and here at the track. So when you pull out of this track, win, lose, or draw, hold your heads high and start thinking about the next step we have in this championship step, this championship chase. With a victory today, savor it, embrace it. You got 24 hours to love it. After that, we're looking for the next one. Okay? If we suffer a defeat today, you got about an hour. And you gotta get it out of your mind and we gotta move on because you're gonna be touching the car again. You got an hour. 
So let's shoot for 24 hours. I'm looking more, I'll look more forward to that. And you all have worked really hard to get to that point. So I'm not going to beat that horse anymore. Put that in your mind. Everything I just said, put it in your mind today. Put it in there. Put success in there. Put pride in there. And put happiness in there at, at the top of the level. With that being said, I'm not going to carry on this meeting, you know, and just keep running down this road. Y'all heard me. And I think I speak for everybody in this room. If I ask each one of you to say something, that's what you're going to say. Because I believe in you. But there's one other person that can help us get through today, and I'm going to turn that part over to Scott and see if he knows who he is. How many Red Bulls do you have this morning, buddy? None. <laughs> and I am exhausted. He's excited. I am excited. We're well, uh, just going to say a prayer here and uh, get, get to work uh, what Mike needs you guys to do. Father, I just ask for a blessing upon this team. Obviously, safety is our, our most important thing here. We ask for a blessing in our opportunity to race today, too. It's in your will and, and in your doing that we perform at our best. Please bless us and allow each one of us to go out and understand what our roles, what our jobs are, and uh, ultimately at the end of the day, you're number one in our world. And we just ask for that blessing and, and each, each one of us here, uh, lift us in the palm of your hand. Uh, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Come on guys, let's go. Let's do this today, alright? This is our shot. This is our team.